हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आलिया बी तो पिछले साल इन 2022 जस्ट बिफोर द ईयर एंडेड आई आस्क्ड यू गाइस टू गिव मी अ कपल ऑफ सजेशंस ऑन व्हाट वीडियोस आई शुड मेबी डू इन द न्यू ईयर एंड दैट आई वुड वर्क हार्ड टू मेक दोस वीडियोस तो दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ मी वर्किंग हार्ड क्योंकि आई थिंक जो सजेशन में से एकदम टॉप सजेशन था वो टू डू अ स्किन केयर वीडियो I thought ki chalo let's start with that because I think the world knows how passionate I am about my skincare routine but the world doesn't know ki jo mera introduction hua tha skincare ka the guru my skincare guru is me shine bhat my dear and lovely sister I don't think before you gave me my skincare products, I ever even did anything with skincare. Like I was like just washing my face. Yeah, I think you had a really really basic skincare routine until I I literally gave you a full ingredient product breakdown. <laughs> you have it. This is literally <laughs> what you gave me. Remember? Yeah, this? I gave this to you for Christmas. You gave me yeah. For, yeah. I was going to ask you, what's my birthday or Christmas? No, it was for Christmas. I did like a whole breakdown of every ingredient. And this was. Pre, this is twenty nine eighteen, twenty nineteen. Twenty yeah, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. I know yeah. it was way before the lockdown because during lockdown is when we actually started even getting deeper into it. We started doing our skincare together in lockdown a little more. You know what I mean? So um, this is what Shine gave me, Alia's skincare kit with all the really great ingredients for your skin and a suggestion of my morning routine and an evening routine. What we want to start by talking with because we were discussing this is we said we wanted to start with. addressing a our skin types right? yeah i think it's really important to talk about skin types because alia and i have both very different uh, skin types we also have very different skin tones we have very different skin concerns uh, so the way that we approach our routines are also really different because of that so my skin type i would say i have combination skin like sometimes my skin can be very dry i get like dry patches literally and sometimes i have like certain sections like my t zone that can get very very oily and my pores can clog up very quickly if I I don't like deeply cleanse for mm. example oh. you also have sensitive skin i also have sensitive skin Candy. especially during my pregnancy mm. my skin was extremely sensitive that's a separate yeah. video altogether where i really had to just cut it down and i didn't literally do anything i tried out so many products i remember that was sensitive but they were still like irritating my skin mm. for example My skin type is the complete opposite. I don't have sensitive skin at all, but my skin is really, really dry. Mm. Um, I also deal with a lot of acne. My skin's not really happy right now. I've got, you know, I've got a couple of blemishes and a couple of spots. Um, Beautiful. Um, Sorry, I just touched my skin. <laughs> uh yeah so i mean i deal with a lot of acne i deal with a lot of pigmentation so my concerns are really different from um alia skin care concerns and what was really interesting for me is because i used to deal with a lot of acne when i was younger i didn't realize that dry skin can also cause i used to think my skin was oily uh. but i didn't realize that dry skin can actually also cause oily skin because your skin um compensates for the lack of oil and it does excessive sebum production mm. so which I, i was very confused i was like oh i didn't realize that i always thought my skin was oily until i realized it was dry and once i started giving it adequate moisture that oiliness just completely evaporated um so yeah we're very very different skin types in that sense and skin insecurities okay yeah. that's another thing that i think we should address because everybody has a certain set of insecurities for which they focus on skin care um i think my base primal insecurity has always been acne i mean i am somebody who really struggles if i see i i touch wood do not like have massive breakout but even if i get that one odd pimple it really drives me crazy and i'm i'm one of those people who tends to pick i know it's like the It's a sin you're not <laughs> meant to pick your pimples but I just can't help it. I'm like what are so one of the things that has really I think helped me not pick on my pimple is using a pimple patch um yeah. and it, it it helps in my opinion helps dry out the pimple and bring out whatever is underneath it the dirt impurities even faster and once it kind of comes out I go and I pop it. I know it's not good and I would not suggest that you should do it. I'm just being honest and telling you what I do. Um another 
again insecurity that i have is um i guess dry patches because that tend to happen tends to happen sometimes especially around my mouth area and i know because i don't usually use an exfoliator um the areas around my nose as well get very very dry and kind of clogged up so those are my insecurities my in my my skin securities as you put skin it security as you put it earlier um are like i said have a lot of acne so i get a lot of like post inflammatory hyperpigmentation i get a lot of you know like marks and spots after i've had acne so the acne in and of itself doesn't always bother me like mm. not to the extent it bothers you but even you. i get marks i the, the marks the pigmentation really bothers me because i feel like my skin is really prone to pigmentation uh i one of the things that i'm most insecure about that i haven't fully you know like this other things that i've like i've come around to i'm okay with my dark circles really bother me like they still really really bother me um there's not like there's not a whole lot to be done about that but it's just something that it's just a part of my face that i'm still coming to terms with okay so those were our skin concerns and our skin securities what we want to now we're going to get into what we usually do but before that i want to first say that firstly why do we do skin care let's break it down जो लोग सोचते हैं कि स्किन केयर बहुत वेन है बहुत टाइम स्पेंड करते हो नथिंग लाइक दैट दिस योर स्किन इज द लार्जेस्ट ऑर्गन इन योर बॉडी तो जैसे हम अपना गट का ख्याल रखते हैं मेंटल हेल्थ का ख्याल रखते हैं लंग्स का ख्याल रखते हैं बेसिकली बॉडी हेल्थ पे काम करते हैं और ख्याल रखते हैं द सेम वे यू शुड बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर स्किन वन इज शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स यू नो प्रिवेंटिंग एक्ने लुकिंग ग्लोई फीलिंग ग्रेट हैविंग अ सेल्फ केयर रिचुअल आई वुड कॉल दैट शॉर्ट टर्म और दूसरा है लॉन्ग टर्म प्रिवेंटेटिव केयर जो आप फ्यूचर के लिए कर रहे हो ताकि आपका स्किन फ्यूचर में भी लाइक टेन ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ ट्वेंटी ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ यूर बिल्डिंग दैट फाउंडेशन फॉर योर स्किन सो दैट्स वाई थॉट लेट्स गेट शाइन माई स्किन केयर गुरु नाउ लेट्स गेट इन टू इट तो आई एल स्टार्ट आई वेक अप इन द मॉर्निंग तो दिस इज माई प्री जिम विच इज बेसिकली वेदर आई एम गोइंग टू दर आई एम गोइंग फॉर शूट और वेदर आई हैव अ डे एट होम I always do my skincare as soon as I wake up in the morning, and then I go to the gym. This is just pure wash my face, and I literally shower after my gym. Like this is my routine in every situation. Um, so as I wake up, I cleanse, and I've already cleansed because there's no room to cleanse over here. So I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. For me, a gentle cleanser always works way better than a really foamy, um, hectic cleanser. I don't like the feeling. Well, you know, जब स्किन एकदम टाइट और ऑलमोस्ट ड्राई हो जाता है क्लेंजिंग के बाद फॉर मी दैट्स अ बिग नो नो आई हैव टू अग्री दो कि अर्लियर आई यूज टू थिंक कि ओ इसका मतलब है कि स्किन बहुत साफ हो रहा है एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट वेन इज गेटिंग रियली टाइट एंड आई रियलाइज दैट दैट वॉज इट वॉज रियली मेकिंग माई स्किन एक्सट्रीमली ड्राई एंड आई वॉज लूजिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वॉटर एंड वॉज रियली स्ट्रिपिंग माई स्किन सो देन आई स्विच टू अ जेंटल क्लेंजर एंड दिस इज माई गो टू सो आई डोंट क्लेंज माई स्किन इन द मॉर्निंग um i don't feel like i like i said i have dry skin i don't feel like i need to cleanse twice a day mm-hmm. um i double cleanse every single evening because i feel like i have a lot of like spf on my face that i need to take like get off my face so very very rarely sometimes if i feel like i still have because sometimes i do a, a a very moisture locking type of routine if i feel like my skin has still got a little bit of product i'll, I'll splash a bit of water no I, i still won't use a cleanser okay um i don't feel like i need it so uh, i go straight in into my um into the rest of my steps without cleansing first thing okay i i always use really cold water when i cleanse in the morning mm. i don't know why for that okay so the next step i don't use a toner but the next step um i go for is it's like a toning mist sort of a thing this is one of my favorite products again given to me by my sister uh bioma it's a triceramide complex it has probiotics um it's just really great ceramides in general we love right it's um it hero ingredient they are the hero ingredient building blocks of your skin um really help um get rid of any kind of wrinkles fine lines um smooth skin plump plump up plump your skin hydrate your skin yeah. yeah so we love ceramides it's also a great for like any environmental you know it protects and like prevents any sort of environmental damage so <laughs> that's mine <laughs> Um so like I said my skin is a little unhappy at the moment so my skincare routine that I would be doing today is slightly different than maybe what I usually do um so the first thing that I would go in with today is um like a hyaluronic acid serum this is um a skinceuticals uh, intensifier 
Um, I feel like my skin needs a little more moisture at the like yeah just a little more moisture at the moment so hyaluronic acid I find is a really good uh, good way to ensure that I get the moisture that I need it essentially the way that hyaluronic acid works is it draws in moisture from your environment it's a humectant it's a humectant it draws in moisture from the environment so and we live in a humid climate uh, yeah. It's a little drier right now, but it's still it's still a very humid climate. So it's it's great for humid climate. It just draws in that moisture. Um, so today, yeah, I'm starting off with um, a hyaluronic acid. My next step would be a serum. Um, I don't have too many serums to choose from. Um, I have like two for the for my AM routine. Um, I'm gonna go in today with the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. It's just honestly one of my <laughs> favorite products. It was a nightmare trying to get it to me uh, but it's here um, again peptides Tanna you want to speak a little bit about peptides I just take like two or three pumps yeah so peptides I mean very similar to ceramides also really help kind of with the same things it helps with a lot of the hydration it helps with um, just building up that skin barrier essentially it's ceramides it peptides keeps your skin firm yeah. smooth um, ceramides are more hydrating than peptides, but I think in from what I've read and learned, the combination of ceramides and peptides go great together. Yeah. So that's my step number three. Three, yeah, yeah. because you did a, you do a cleanse step. Yeah. yeah. So my step number two today again is very different than what it would usually be. Um, today I'm going in instead with uh, an avocado ceramide recovery serum. So again, what we were talking about ceramides. Um, it's just it's just helping again with that skin barrier. It's helping soothe my skin, uh, which is what I think I really need more of at the moment. Soothing, soothing, nourishing, nourishing. Speaking of soothing and nourishing, <laughs> genuinely this next product is like really soothing and nourishing. So now, now after my serum, I would follow up with a moisturizer because it's daytime. I would go for a completely lightweight moisturizer. Of course, unless I'm in some extreme cold climate, then I would go for a heavier moisturizer. This, so I, I mean, you can go like for a more gel based, like hydrating, like which is more water based kind of like a heavier serum. A moisturizer, which is a complete moisturizer is very different. So hydration is one side, moisturizing is one side, right? Um, I like how I'm looking at you for validation. I guess um, so. so my next product would be this Dew in my defense. It's one of my favorite products. I don't think I've ever felt this like attached to a product. Okay, and Who this, brought it into your life? Of course, mm -hmm. Shaheen as well. This also has ceramides. <laughs> so, so you're re really uh, doubling down on the ceramides yeah. basically. And literally, it has, the like I put quite a bit. Honestly, I put like four pumps. But on this it says, soothing, calming, strengthening, nourishing. All words that we love. So, very often I also like to moisturize my ears. Yeah. I also like to, I mean I usually go in on my neck also at the moment, yeah. I have not done that but I, I would usually go in on my neck as well. So my next step today um, is again not something I usually do. Um, today I'm going in with a, a caffeine solution for my under eyes because I feel like my under eyes are feeling a little puffy. Um, so that's what I, I used to use. That. Yeah, I, I don't do this very often, I just use it on, you know, like on certain days. Today is one of those days where I feel like um, it's what I want to do. I don't believe in using eye cream, like in the sense that uh, the under eyes need hydration, absolutely, but um, I don't think you need to buy a separate eye cream. Yeah. Uh, your moisturizer works just fine. I used to think, and eye creams are really expensive Correct. as well, like they're just a really expensive thing. Uh, that today, that's, this is my next step. It's just a caffeine and deep, caffeine debuffs under the eyes, basically. Um, and I feel like I want that. And actually, then that's it. Like last step would be the most important step, which is SPF. Um, again, this uh, you know uh, sunscreen which Shaheen suggested to me <laughs> has changed my life because it's just it's called um, Fusion Water 50 SPF. Um, it's just really great. It feels great. It's light, and I feel like. I'm very protective. So I, I actually do something quite cute with it. So they say two, <laughs> two uh, fingers. So I do this and I do a smiley face. Because when it comes to SPF, honestly, more is more. There's no less is more. So cute. Oh, am I cute? <laughs> oh. 
But did you hear what I just said when it comes to SPF? More is more. More is more. You, you can't. Me? Yeah, I'm extremely proud of you because uh, a lot of people think just using a teeny tiny amount of SPF is enough. No, no. you need. Uh, there's a certain no. amount that you need. Um, two fingers is the best way. Otherwise, there's some teaspoon measure of how many teaspoons you need or a short. You know. Also, uh, what happens is usually I'm going for shoot, so I don't land up topping my sunscreen up because I have to put makeup on. So I like to really go for a heavy um, kind of. Yeah, this thing, and then the makeup comes on top of it. So, because I can't take my makeup off and put sunscreen, put makeup on again, it just mm. doesn't happen. So I really go for a good dose. Mm. So my next step uh, is now my moisturizer. Um, today I'm going in with a derma. It's again a soothing, repairing cream. I love this one. It's I like I discovered this when I had at one point destroyed my skin barrier because I was using too many actives and too. Uh, too regularly, almost every day, which is what you were saying. That's what happened to we me. We got also. into that zone where it was you think you have to use every active all mm. at all every day, all at the same time, and doing that, I completely destroyed my skin barrier. Hundred percent. And uh, this, honestly, it completely saved my skin. It was given to me by my dermatologist. Mm. And uh, I also use this when I when. Like before using dew, yeah. I was using this. Yeah, so I t I tend to go in with quite a lot of moisturizer. Like I said, my skin's dry, so I prefer using you know quite a bit of moisturizer. Also, I think in a derma, do you have the same one? Yours is the soothing repair cream. Yeah. I got anti marks mm. because I like I said I pick a lot. Yeah. So um, again, yeah. Suggested by my dermatologist. Suggest like you focus on the areas that you feel like you have the marks exist and it'll kind of fade with time. Yeah. So I find this like this is really good for me. It's it's not. I wouldn't say it's a lightweight moisturizer. It's a it's a fairly. Um, but it's not heavy though. It's not heavy, but there are days where I would go in with a heavier moisturizer. I like a lot of moisture. Sometimes I feel like I almost over moisturize, but that's I just feel like my skin feels really nice when I have um, you know that that I, I feel more comforted with that extra hydration, and I like to put like my extra moisturizer on my hands as well. Um, so I like it just nice. Okay, well, the most important step, and I'm not taking my lip off. Your lip? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You also put your sunscreen? Yeah, I'm going in with the exact same sunscreen, and I go like two fingers like that. Um, you can. Talk about your next step as I as I sunscreen myself. <laughs> yeah, because we don't need to talk about how important sunscreen yeah. is in the whole world. Knows that. Yeah. Um, that's it. The last step would be lip balm, and I again love this lip balm. It's like a lip treatment actually, and again, it's a peptide lip treatment, which I found very very interesting mm. to have peptides in, and it tastes so yummy. <laughs> and I what flavor is it? Salted caramel, I oh, think. Wow. Feel kind of a yumminess. Yumminess, and yeah. you feel like it's like prohydrating and it, it, everything. Uh, for my lip balm, so I have really dry and cracked lips all the time. Like yeah. my lips are always flaking. So one thing I really like to do is, you know, I I have this like silicone lip scrubber that I I, I use very frequently. I prefer it to like I'm at the moment I prefer it to you know those like sugary scrubs. Uh. I feel like this does a better job, and it's just one thing that I need in my in my house. But otherwise, um, for my lips, what I'm using is I use Aquaphor Baby Ointment. Um, it's honestly for me nothing has worked quite as well. It's it's petroleum jelly and a bunch of other things like lanolin and I think and other stuff like that. But I just feel like it does such a great job. I buy this one huge tube; it lasts me but then months. But there, there's an Aquaphor lip balm also. Yeah, but I prefer you using prefer the this? baby ointment. I prefer oh. using this. So this is what I use on Rana's yeah. bum. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I use it on my lips. You can use this on your lips. It's amazing. I really feel like it. Just for me, it has changed my life. Nothing has worked as well. It's like this. Almost vaseline-like texture, but I feel like it does. It, for me, it does a much better job. Okay, so that was our skincare routine. Very, uh, very basic, easy, not complicated. <laughs> all the pimple patches that I was talking about, just in case anybody wants to know, I use this Cosrx. <laughs> Great. Um, how to pronounce this? Hydrocolloid. 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 Um. They're great. Honestly, there's nothing to say. It's great. It makes me not touch my pimples. It's lovely. You, you have some. Yeah, I know. So I, I also, yeah, I have them. This is what they look like out of the packet. 
So they basically, I mean, what they really do is that they keep they they keep the environment clean. You don't touch it. You don't pick at it, and it feels like it sucks out. You know, if there's any gunk in there, I don't know if it actually does, but it feels like it does. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it. I feel like at least yeah. prevents. I think I find my it coming out much quicker than putting a cream that kind of fades. Or I mean, I put yeah. the creams when I need to treat maybe at night or something. Yeah, but you feel like this is good enough. That's I feel it's good enough. Yeah. And I can roam around with it. And but I'm looking for like something that has like a nice smiley face or like a heart. A cute a one. A cute one, so I can like roam around with it, like chill, free, you know. Okay, so that was our skincare routine, guys. Um, I don't know. I have anything else to say? No. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's good to look <laughs> after your skin. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's great. Have a fun. It's great. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Good day. Have uh, some nice health. <laughs> See you all later. Um, you know the drill. If you like this video, then like and share and, and subscribe. subscribe. And let us know if you want us to do anything else in depth because we can really go on talking. Yeah, about Yeah, we can skincare. talk about it for like six hours. We're just ninety percent of all we talk about is skincare. Yeah. Now we're looking quite glowy and fresh, so we're going to take a pic now. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> <laughs>